I believe that. <laughs> President Trump wants Congress to cut, uh, to make cuts in that $1.3 trillion spending bill. The president can do that. He can request a hold on some specific funding, even though it's been signed into law. He can hold things up for 45 days, ask for specific cuts. Come on in, please. Congressman David Bratt, Republican from Virginia, member of the Budget Committee. You must be ecstatic that you can go back into that spending bill and make some serious changes. You're a happy guy this morning, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a happy guy, and uh, I think the president's uh, serious about it. He was not happy having to sign the bill. Uh, but at the end of the day, even this process is going to require 51 votes in the Senate. Yep. And so we've seen them fail on Obamacare and then on this last budget. Uh, the, the House had passed a budget, all 12 approach bills, plus up the military and nothing else. We kept everything else flat. And then when it goes to the Senate, they plus it up by $400 billion because they need nine Democrats. Uh, so this time we won't be faced with that high hurdle. Uh, but I hope the Senate uh, signals to us very clearly that they're willing to go down this road. Last time I was on your show, we made big news for the rest of the day. Uh, I said the Senate uh, put in last year's budget a few months ago that they will not do a budget next year. Not an omnibus, right? But they won't even do a budget. Mm. And that means we don't get reconciliation. And so it makes it very hard for us to do any policy. That's how we got tax cuts through. And I saw you had Larry Kudlow on the last segment. And if you want to do another round of tax cuts to make the individual side permanent, uh, you need reconciliation uh, to get it through with just Republican votes. It, it, there's no way you're going to get nine Democrat Senate votes uh, to make those tax cuts permanent, oh, Dave, uh, even me. though they said that's what they were waiting on. You're killing me. You're killing me here. I thought you were going to come yeah, on the show. I yes, <laughs> dude, we're going to really cut that budget up. I tell you, some of that spending's going right. to go. But I wish I could hear that from you. But I'm not hearing that from you. I've got to move on. I've got to move on. Uh, uh, the, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've got to move. The president's talking In about... In my dreams. <laughs> okay. The president's talking about sending troops to guard the southern border. I think he's yeah. tweaking Governor Brown of California, who really doesn't want to see the National Guard on the border, but probably has no choice. Yeah, well, and California, right, utter chaos and lawlessness in California intentionally, right? They're doing this. Illegals can vote in California, right? Tucker Carlson's been covering that in detail uh, with the facts to back up that story. So, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to see guards there. And it, all of this is a function of globalism, right? You've got tariff issues in the, in the news right now. You've got chaos at the southern border. Uh, the folks coming across the border from Honduras, right, all children of God, that's not the issue. The issue is none of this has been decided by the American people. And the Democrats are silent on immigration, right? They know the middle class, all the way from Bernie voters, all the way through Trump voters, are fed up with this thing. Right? So the folks come in, if they got two kids in public school, that's $26,000 a year. Right? So if they make $20,000 a year, they're paying no tax whatsoever. I mean, a, a little Social Security or something, but no income tax. And then who's on the hook for $26,000 for just two kids in school? Uh, the American taxpayer. Did they say okay to that? No. Okay. Uh, but Governor Brown out in California, they want more illegals in voting in California. And uh, the rest of the American people did not vote on that. And this is fundamentally uh, a function of the executive, right? The president uh, has uh, almost sole control over national security, national security, border security, and homeland security. And so I hope the president continues to take a strong lead on this like he's doing. Okay. The American people are totally behind him on that issue. Okay, got it. Dave, I'm sorry, I've got to run. Uh, next time, I'm going to make you happy and you're going to make me happy. And that's a fact. We'll see you later, Dave. Right, Brown. right. <laughs> okay. You bet.